Thank you, Howard. And uh, it is my pleasure uh, to be invited here and to have a chance to speak about LCA and CFP. So, at first, uh, no. so, uh, do you want to say uh, wood is good compared uh, from other materials from viewpoint of environmental laws? Uh, the answer is, one of the answer is uh, visualizing uh, of environmental loads and GHG emissions. And on the other hand, uh, the emission of GHG by energy consumption increases year by year for all sectors except industries in Japan because of Kyoto Protocol. And then, uh, to stop global warming, uh, we have to know how a sector or product exhausts uh, GHG. So, one of uh, the two is uh, carbon footprint. And uh, this system has been used to visualize GHG emissions for this purpose. And a CFP uh, must be calculated by life cycle assessment, uh, abbreviated LCA. So uh, we knew that if we want to do CFP, uh, we have to uh, learn about LCA. And uh, the behind uh, target of these system is uh, expected to Secondary effect is to prolong uh, the life of depleted resources. Uh, this one is the most important purpose uh, if you do LCA. And then uh, my talk this morning uh, consists of two parts. The first part uh, is explain LCA, and uh, the second part is explain CFP in Japan. And LCA is a tool to assess environmental impacts associated with all stages of a product or a service. And uh, uh, stages are from uh, raw material to uh, disposal. Uh, we usually say from cradle to grave. But uh, there is another uh, range uh, from cr cradle to gate. Both are uh, uh, popular in Japan. And LCA can cover many environmental categories if you do uh, life cycle inventory uh, properly. And the impact can be integrated to one value, such as Japanese yen, if you use a line. And the concept of LCA is, uh, if you want to produce a product or a service, uh, you get various types of uh, resources uh, from natural area. And then uh, put them into the artificial area, uh, starting from extract and uh, including transport, and uh, use and dispose uh, at the end. And then during uh, manufacturing or usage, uh, you emit a lot of environmental laws to a natural area. So uh, the concept of LCA is uh, the mass flow, uh, to know the mass flow between natural area and artificial area. The procedure of LCA should be uh, start from uh, goal and scope definition, then a uh, life cycle inventory analysis, abbreviated LCI, and life cycle impact assessment, uh, abbreviated LCIA. And uh, you have to do at last uh, interpretation. 
So uh, this is uh, the uh, rule by ISO. So I, I don't want to explain any more. And uh, if you want to do LCA, you have to uh, use uh, tools uh, for that purpose. And for a software, uh, there are several softwares in Japan, but uh, most reliable ones are uh, JMI LCA and uh, Milka uh, recently. And uh, uh, you have to uh, use a, a reliable background data too. And in uh, JMI LCA Pro and Milka, uh, there are reliable uh, background data. So we usually use uh, those uh, background data to calculate LCA. And at last, uh, if we finished uh, impact assessment, uh, when you use a LIME, uh, life cycle impact assessment method based on endpoint modeling, uh, then uh, you can uh, get uh, one result uh, expressed, for instance, by Japanese yen. And uh, uh, developing team of LIME uh, now started to uh, LIME 3, uh, which is applicable in Asia. So uh, they call LIME 3 uh, to uh, LIME Asia. But uh, this probably comes up soon. So uh, probably uh, most all of you uh, cannot understand LIME uh, precisely. Uh, me as well, but uh, uh, I like to explain uh, what is LIME. Uh, LIME is uh, uh, a tool to calculate potential damage cost uh, for all environmental laws assessed by LCA. And uh, uh, getting the damage cost in Japanese yen, as I mentioned uh, right now, and you can use a line for full cost assessment consists of internal cost and external cost. That's the concept of full cost assessment. And uh, uh, you can use this tool to echo efficiency of various levels. And also, uh, many, uh, all of companies, uh, we have to uh, issue an environmental report. So in, the, in this report, uh, you can uh, use uh, the line. Uh, from here, I'd like to show two case studies uh, which were done by me. The first one in the inventory of logs. And the, the results uh, of uh, carbon dioxide emissions from log production uh, was like this. And uh, <coughs> uh, from these figures, uh, you can get uh, this sense of uh, logging, a part of logging operation uh, was the major uh, carbon dioxide CO2 emissions. And, and then if you uh, do uh, the same uh, assessment, uh, you may neglect uh, nursing operation uh, from this figure. And uh, then I uh, used uh, LIME 2 uh, to uh, get the damage, uh, damage cost of log production. The results are like this. So, uh, there are two results. One is a final cutting, the other one is fi final and thinning cuttings. Uh, th this means 
or environmental uh, damage cost uh, if uh, th that cost uh, uh, is allocated uh, to final cutting. So th that means uh, thinning log uh, has no uh, damage cost, then the results will be like this. But uh, thinning log uh, is also uh, important resources. And then if you allocate uh, cost for both uh, logs, then uh, cubic, uh, the cost of one per one cubic uh, meter uh, is like this. And uh, the case study, the second case uh, is impact of a house. And it is very difficult to uh, get the inventory, to, to do inventory for our houses because houses are cons uh, consist of a uh, lot of uh, parts. Then uh, the easy way uh, is uh, to uh, use economic input output LCA. So uh, you can get the results uh, of, of immediately uh, without uh, inventory uh, inspections. So uh, the result says uh, the wood, wooden house, uh, the damage cost, uh, cost of wooden house is like that. On the other hand, uh, the most uh, highest cost uh, was the steel, ma uh, house made of steel. So you can see easily uh, which uh, emission uh, affected uh, uh, largely to, to the total cost. So that's the uh, end, end of uh, explanation of LCA. So uh, the next part is uh, uh, the the outline of CFP, and also I uh, present uh, the present state of CFP in Japan. At first, uh, the how to calculate CFP. Uh, this, the calculation method is the same as process-based LCA. And the GHG can only be assessed and the products PCR, products category rule, must be planned and made at first. Otherwise, uh, it is impossible to compare uh, the results of CFP from various uh, manufacturers. And a CFP must be verified by the authorized committee in Japan. And uh, uh, this system uh, uh, has been developed three years from uh, 2009 uh, by the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry in Japan. So, uh, three years pilot project uh, now in Japan. And uh, this system is managed by uh, JMI, uh, a society for environment, uh, whose website is uh, right down here. So. Uh, present state of CFP system uh, uh, was shown in this slide. Uh, the, the system started from here, and uh, the first one year uh, or half year, uh, companies uh, look this system uh, cold. But uh, since two, year, two years, uh, this is the last year, uh, so you can see uh, a lot of uh, applications uh, for uh, CFP, to get CFP uh, increasing immediately. And uh, one of the results uh, are uh, were ex uh, ex expressed at the uh, Eco product uh, exhibition. Uh, held up in Tokyo big site to let people know the CFP system. So uh, the product, trial products are like this. 
uh, you can see uh, the mark of uh, authorized mark of carbon footprint in Japan uh, like this. This is toothpaste, the potato chips, and some other uh, pro products, mainly foods. And one of uh, example of uh, uh, about rice, uh, I I'd like to explain. So famous supply chain Eon put a brand rice Akita Komachi. This is the most famous, uh, the expensive uh, brand rice, of five kilogram with CFP on market from uh, January 2009. And uh, the marks is like this. I'm sorry, uh, this is uh, uh, written in Japanese, but uh, uh, from this result, from this result, uh, the CFP of this package shows uh, the total CFP is 7.7 uh, .7 kilograms for only 5 kilogram rice and the major part is uh, uh, cultivation uh, stage and uh, the, this stage, uh, in this stage uh, th over 3 kilogram of uh, GHG uh, came from a party field. So uh, this is uh, uh, quite uh, popular uh, and uh, uh, typical uh, expression of CFP. And if you uh, uh, take a look in England, uh, England uh, uh, is the first uh, country who started the CFP system. Uh, this orange juice and uh, the, they, uh, their according the, to their system, uh, they, mm, uh, this orange juice expressed uh, by this mark. And in case of France, uh, Lucrer, I'm not quite sure, but uh, this supermarket is uh, one of the famous one in France. Is, is it right? Uh, started to print CFP on the tag of 20,000 items. One example is like this. The price is here, the CFP value is here. And when you pass uh, the gate, you can get the receipt. Uh, it total is uh, this amount. And also, you, you could know uh, the total uh, CFP. Uh, the, uh, this is the, the case, one of case in, in France. And in case of uh, uh, you have, to, if you want to do uh, CFP, you have to uh, make a PCR, the rule at first. And then uh, I'd like to uh, show uh, the PCRs for wooden products uh, in Japan now. Uh, the first one is uh, wood and wood, wood materials for lumber, uh, glue and ply, particle fiber and preservative impregnated lumber and also uh, heat treated uh, lumber uh, by NPO and me. And the second one wooden products for flooring and small wooden products. Uh, and wood plastic combination, we saw uh, this test experimental uh, room uh, yesterday night. Uh, this one is also already made. And the paper containers and the packaging and the wrapping is also uh, finished. And the publication. Uh, is also finished. And also office furniture. Uh, this furniture is mainly uh, made of uh, steels but includes some uh, wooden parts. So uh, you can do uh, CFP uh, of those uh, products if you want to in Japan. Thank you for your attention.